Hi, in this video we'll build an RC phase shift oscillator and we'll use the Arduino oscilloscope that we built in an earlier video to then do the testing of it. The expected output from the oscillator circuit will be a low frequency sine wave. The oscillator consists of two parts, a phase shift network made up of resistors and capacitors and an amplifier, in this case a transistor amplifier. Let's talk about uh, what's going to be happening to the RC part of the circuit. The entire circuit is going to be exposed to just background environmental noise of all sorts of different frequencies. Any signal that's coming into on the input side, by the time it gets through to the output side, it's going to be attenuated a bit. So the amplitude coming through is going to be smaller than what's received on the input. And the other thing that's going to be happening to it is that the um, output signal is going to be phase shifted and this actual phase shift is dependent on the frequency being received on the input and for one particular combination of uh, component values and frequency the phase shift itself is actually going to be a full 180 degrees which basically means you get a, a smaller mirror image waveform on the output and this is actually quite critical to how the oscillator works the formula for calculating the frequency for a 3 resistor 3 capacitor RC network um, to get the 180 degrees phase shift is 1 over 2 pi RC times the square root of 6. And we can work out for our component values what the expected output frequency is. Here's the full circuit on the breadboard. The RC network is highlighted. The other major component of the circuit is the amplifier and it does two things. Anything that comes into its input gets boosted and because of the particular configuration we have here any rising input on the input will cause a drop in the output and vice versa so we're effectively getting a 180 degree phase shift. The magic of this when it's combined with the RC network from before is that the amplifier is introducing a 180 degree phase shift and then boosting the signal and the RC network is letting through just one frequency with a 180 degree phase shift that's uh, attenuated, but then it's boosted back up by the amplifier. All the other frequencies, the phase shift is not quite a full 360 degrees. So effectively, you kind of get a cancelling out effect of the whole network. Here's the circuit on the breadboard with the amplifier part highlighted. So there's a couple of other little bits and pieces, but this, that's the basic circuit. So what we do is we take the output from our phase shift network and we plug that into the input of our amplifier. And then we take the output of our amplifier and we pass it through a capacitor to block the DC component. So all we get is the AC signal, the wibbly wobbly bit going back through the phase shift network without any DC. And then the last thing I'm going to do is just pass this out through a, a little circuit that I can then use to put the Arduino probe in between to measure the output of the circuit and probe to see the actual sine wave that we're going to get. So here's the circuit on the breadboard. Um, we've got some power and ground coming in from the Arduino to drive everything. Over on this side here we've got the three capacitors and resistors making up the RC network, the transistor amplifier and its biasing resistors. This uh, capacitor is the one that's giving the feedback back out of the out amplifier output and back into the input of the RC network. And here we've got a couple of capacitors that isolate the signal so we can put our Arduino probe in and just get AC value out and that goes back to the analog to digital converter of the Arduino. Right, so we've got the spreadsheet that we built in the earlier videos that uh, we're going to use for displaying our waveform. And over here we've got the Arduino code for outputting the information from the analog to digital converter that I went through in the earlier videos about building the Arduino oscilloscope. So let's just give it a whirl and see what we get. And we're not getting much here, so sometimes what we can do is we can give the whole thing a little bit of a kick with the power lead on this end of the capacitor here. And that starts to get the oscillation going sometimes. So let's just clear it here and see what we get this time. That's looking better. Uh, 
Okay, so we're getting a waveform, but um, looks like we're only getting part of the waveform. So I think we need to adjust our resolution down, which we can do by uh, changing the default value of the ADC CSRA register so that it devises back at the normal one, which will be a bit running a bit slower. And we'll just download that sketch to the Arduino. Clear out any previous garbage, and now let's give it a shot. Oh, good. There's the sine wave right there, and it's not far off the frequency that we were estimating either, because we're sitting around about the 325 hertz. So, nice. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you found it interesting. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave a comment. And if you want to see more, please subscribe.